We take it, everybody. Want to go? And Moses, that's not the voice of everybody in this church. Want to go? And Moses went up from the plain of Moab onto the mountain of Nebo to the top of Pika that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan. Next verse. And all the Natali and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh. And all the land of Judah and unto the Ot Amosi. Let's take verse 3. And the south and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, and Saul. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land which I shared unto Abraham and unto Isaac and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thy eyes, but thou shalt not go over either. Verse 5 as the last. So Moses, the servant of God, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. Take it again. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, 
according to the word of God. Now, look at me. Rising and falling is when a man starts a building and you abandon it on the way. Rising and falling is when a man starts marriage transaction and along the line issues come up and uh, the story about that marriage is not heard again. That's what I call rising and falling. Rising and falling is when a man starts a ministry, did inauguration and people gathered, celebrated the inauguration of the ministry, prayed and poured in communion and believed that this is a church that will bring salvation, liberation to mankind in that area. The day they started, people came from different places and along the line, the pastor would shut down, sell drums, sell chairs, sell everything and relocate. That's what I call rising and falling. Rising and falling is when you come into politics and your name is ringing bell. People are celebrating you. You are going places. They can never take decision in your local government without your consent. They will never take decision in your, in your community without your consent. And all of a sudden, the next thing, your name is not heard again. Nobody wants to talk about you. Nobody wants to talk about what you are doing. Nobody's even, in fact, at some point, if your name is mentioned, people feel very pained. That is what I call rising and falling rising and falling is when a man has maybe some years ago you could touch three million and uh, after a while you are looking for one naira to pay transport that's what i call rising and falling rising and falling is when some years ago you could settle the bills of people you could foot the little bills of your family and all of a sudden instead of you going forward you see yourself on the ground that's what I call rising and falling. Rising and falling is when a man is walking, doing a lucrative job, and it's bringing an overturn for you, it's bringing good profit for you, and you know very well that this work you are doing, you are going to retire in 2035, and all of a sudden something happens, before you know it, you are queried, before you know it, they give you maybe compulsory retirement, or maybe they give you compulsory sack, or maybe they, they demote you, or they reduce your rank, or something. That is what I call rising and falling rising and falling is when a man gets married to a wife and the marriage is very sweet they enjoy themselves they don't take decision without each, each of them they, they go to places together every Sunday you see them in Kilimanjaro every one month you see them and the family together in some place they go out, they come in, they go together to church, they pray together in the morning they do all the things they can do in the, in, in the house together people in the community see their marriage as a point of envy, they talk about about it and the next thing the face of the husband is turned to Nasarawa and the wife's face is turned to Sokoroto they will never sit together they don't agree together and nothing about the woman appeals the man again everything about the woman makes the man very angry everything about the man makes the woman very angry that is what I call rising and falling Rising and falling is when you were always respected in the choir, respected in the unit that you are serving, respected in the department that you are, and all of a sudden, a small boy that will always be greeting you jittering will be coming to talk to you so bold in your face and tell you what will you do. That is what I call rising and falling. If I want to call it again and again and give you instances and incidences, we will not leave this place today. But look at me, everybody. I like to announce to you that one way or the other, each of us has fallen victim of these circumstances. That is why we are here to pray today. The man you are working for, the woman you are working for, the man or the people you are working with used to respect you a lot. Every opinion you give, ah, they value it. But right now, there's nothing you say that makes sense. Now, everything you say makes people get angry. You have fallen from the place of value. Oh, you are not hearing what I'm saying. You have fallen from the place of value.
They will never do anything in that department without your consent. They won't even do anything without them calling you. But right now, nobody wants to hear about you. In fact, before you even arrive, they have done no closing prayers. You have fallen the place of value. Who told you some of us wouldn't have married since? Who told you some of these young sisters wouldn't have married? Do you know how many men lied to them? But do, you, do you know there are some of us that have collected three, four, five engagement rings? Do you know how many marital promises people, they will put you, some of them will even put you in the family way, you give birth to the first child, they tell you no wala, everything is going to work and all of a sudden you will, you will crash like a pack of cards. There are some of us, when the relationship started, the man, will, you will never trek on the road. He gives you special house, gives you special case, special treat. Everything about the relationship was so special. But uh, when it, till he got sour, you didn't know. Oh, come on, you are not here. Are you with me here? Rising and falling. A house you said you are going to complete in three years. This is the 13th year, and you are still building. If somebody comes to tell you, sir, why are you still building? You, you will now look for a way to console yourself and tell the person the Bible says room was not built in a day. Sir, that was room, not a five-bedroom flat. <laughs> not a four-bedroom flat. Say room was not built in a day. Sir, that was room. Room is in Italy. It has so many streets. It has so many states or region as so to speak. That is Rome. Not a three-bedroom flat you are trying to build in the village. That's what I call rising and falling. In these five days when you are coming, come with your diaries. Because while we are praying, we are also writing. What we are doing now will form your prayer line. All through this year. All through this year. When we say rising and falling. So when a man could pay five bedroom flat rent conveniently. And now you are looking for a way to pack your things. You know when, as you are expanding in life, everything about your life, your scope, your, 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 your tentacles and the rest of them is expanded. I hope you understand what I'm saying. As you are expanding in life, everything about your entire life is expanding. Come on, look at me. Everything about you is expanding. If you are living in three bedroom flat, you will need a parlor. Am I correct? And you will need three rooms. And the three rooms will need three beds. Am I correct? And the three rooms will need some, some antiques and furnitures to make them up. Am I correct? Some wall things and all those stuff. Your kitchen will need a couple of things. There will be some cabinets and you will need some extension of plates and you have store. You will need to fix some coolers and other things. And all of a sudden you see yourself looking for one bedroom. The question is where will you keep three beds? You will now start looking for a store to pack some of your things. That is what we call rising and falling. When you started the business, people will be passing and buying from you anyhow. But right now, as I'm talking to you, customers will come, wave at you, and they go to the other shop and pay money and buy. The same thing that you are selling. The same person that used to buy from you. If you see yourself in that state, know that the spirit of rising and falling has entered your life. Whatever you were doing was very progressive. But right now, you don't even know what is happening. Sir, the Bible said the part of a righteous man is like a shining light. It's not shining lace, lace. The Bible said it's shining more, more unto a perfect day. 100,000 naira bill was never a problem to you before. But right now, 10,000 is an issue. If not for this spirit, many of us would have gone far. Imagine Moses 
doing all these things. Imagine Moses in the burning bush having this encounter. Imagine Moses talking to God face to face. I don't know if you have read it before in your Bible. So Moses spoke with God. The same Moses communicated with God face to face. He was doing his business on his own. JJ Ali was a progressive businessman. When God came to him, he had the encounter. He entered Egypt. Even the Pharaoh he was running from became scared of him. He commanded crowd. He commanded influence. He pulled the entire children of Israel. And they went out of, the, of Egypt without any crash. They went into the wilderness and they were sure that there was a place called Canaan they were heading to. And just at the finishing line, something happened. He only saw it. He did not enter. So many of us, the glory of our destiny that we saw from the beginning, we only saw it. We are still struggling to enter. What is the problem? Rising and falling. We are going to pray. And we'll be very serious about these prayers. I'm preparing your mind so that when you come up to pray, you will pray like a madman. Sir, if it was a cause that your life will never start and progress till the day you die, that cause is going to be dealt with this morning. You see the way you are, sir? If it was a cause that your life will never have a smooth start, and it will progress smoothly till your finishing days. I say that course will be broken today. There are some of us, the moment you give testimony, people will be saying, ah, this one, we know the end now, it will crash like before. There are some of us like that. When you tell people, ah, I found a new relationship, oh, ah, the next thing somebody will tell you, hold on, how did the other one end you? Oh, you are not hearing what I'm saying here. In fact, it gets to a point, your family members, your siblings are tired of your testimony. Because they know you are going to come back. There's a prayer I prayed some years ago before I came into ministry. Father, don't let me start what I cannot finish. That is why I am a committed believer. If I want to build, no matter what it takes me, I can go to the moon, but I must make sure that building is completed. Because it's a cause to abandon projects on the way. It's a cause to abandon transactions. It's, it's, in fact, it's a cause to come into ministry and along the line you are no longer there. Do you know that even some pastors, ordained pastors, have entered this, this trap they don't know? Some of them were pastors in Royal City. And after a while, the demons of your family will enter them till they leave Royal City, maybe over one issue they don't know. The next thing they see themselves in some church and they will start again from the back. For them, they are having peace of worship. But sir, if you look at it prophetically, that's the spirit of rising and falling. Oh, you are not hearing what I'm saying here. It got to a place that you were in, in, in some church, you used to sit in the front, like you are sitting here. And the next thing, you are in some other church, you see yourself probably at the back. In fact, the pastor will not even recognize you. It will take you another two, three years before you can even struggle to be known by a head of department. And you think that's funny. Sir, it's an attack. Oh, you are not, it's an attack. It's an attack. See, sir, a place where people used to call you sir. And now they are calling you sister. Some of them will be very bold to tell people, don't call me that name again. No, when I see them, I know it's not about church. Check even in their relationship. I had a woman that left this ministry some years ago. And when she was intercepted by somebody on the road, she started recounting. And after about two weeks, the man came to me. When the man was speaking to me, I asked God, give me wisdom to give this reply that will make this man excited and save God the rest of it. While the man was talking, I now told the man, are you aware that this same sister you are talking about had married three times? Three times. In this our church, before she came, Three times. According to her story, before she finally became a nurse, she had worked in three places and she was sacked. So when she left the church, I wasn't surprised. In fact, it would be wrong if she didn't leave. Because most of us are living on this course. We don't know. 
Oh, you are not hearing what I'm saying here. We are living on it. We don't know. We don't know. Sir, God is not a lot of confusion. Where you were celebrated before, now you are struck. You see the one thing. There's a prayer I pray every day I wake up. Father, let me not be the first that eventually becomes the last. No. You were up there. And right now, you are down here. It even affects our worship. I mean our worship. That even in the church, they are deroping you. In fact, sometimes, you will be the one to derope yourself. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Are you having your ears with me here? As you stand up and engage in this prayer, I prophesy every spirit of rising and falling that is in oppression in your father's house will crash this morning like a pack of cards in the name of Jesus. This morning, our attention is on this issue, rising and falling. I've realized that some of us, it is, a, it is normal. We don't finish things that we start. Very normal. How do I know it's very normal? That the building that you started, there was so much glory inside. That you knew very well by calculation and estimation in the next two, three years you live in the house. In the process of you building, they sack you. The reason is not the job. They just have to sack you because the devil, the devil, the devil of your father's house knows that in as much as you are still working in that company, you will complete that house. They have to sack you so that the building can stop. You are not hearing what I'm saying here. It's a cause. You had your children, you were paying school fees in some places and they were working very well. And the demon of your family knows very well that people don't graduate, people don't finish school. In fact, people must always have issues like in academics in your family. They will make sure they do something, you are sacked from that job so that you cannot pay your school fee. You will start sending your children to come back home. I pray for you. Whatever looks like the spirit of rising and falling in oppression in your life, as you holler a louder amen, salvation will meet you up right here. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands, shout spirit of rising and falling. Catch fire. Shout amen three times. Shout amen three times. Sit down. Let me quickly show you symptoms. How you can easily know that you are under this trap. Symptoms of a person that is under the spirit of rising and falling. Number one, always notice your life is, you always encountering profitless hard labor. You notice every time consistently you are encountering profitless hard labor. You always encounter untold suffering and hardship. Untold suffering or hardship. You are always encountering oppression and suppression. Consistently. Anything you want to do, wherever you are, they oppress you. You go to a political office, people... They, you just discover that maybe somebody, somebody, somewhere will come from nowhere. In fact, eventually, this person was your very best friend. No? Immediately, you enter that office and things started getting better with you. He becomes a thorn in your flesh. You are not hearing what I'm saying here. Every place you enter, people must oppress you. People must oppress you. Some of us, you notice that it even affects you up to church. 
that you run into this small royal city and say, oh, let me come and hide oh, in this small royal city. Oh. They will, you, the next thing you see, somebody from some choir will start oppressing you, becoming a thorn in your flesh. Before you know it, you get angry and leave. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Anytime you are spending money extravagantly, when you are on a mission and you see issues come from left, right, and center, that spirit is at work. You always notice disappointment and frustration in everything you are doing. They will make promises to you, promise you, promise you, promise you. And they will tell you, this one will work, this one I will help you, I will help you. In fact, the way they will even say it, you will, you will put your entire trust on it. And along the line, the person will tell you, oh, sorry, we could not meet up. Disappointment and frustration. These are signs that you know that the spirit of rising and falling is working against you. How do you know that the spirit of rising and falling is working against you? Anytime you notice blockage of the two blessings, whenever something wants to come, something will happen and the thing is blocked. Anytime you notice procrastination in your life, the spirit of rising and falling is at work. You always notice consistent poverty and lack around your life. The spirit of rising is at, and falling is at work. You notice stagnation and embargo. Stagnation and embargo. You buy a land. When you went, you saw the original owner. And you were convinced that that's the original owner of the land. And you have told your friends you have bought the land, told everybody you are going to start building. Immediately you buy the land, pay. The moment you buy, bring sand to build and to, uh, to raise fence, the next thing, the real owner will come out and they will get injunction from the village and put. <laughs> are you learning something? I took time to copy this note so that we can be liberated today. Stagnation and embargo. We have one behind here. The man bought the land 2019. Over four point something million. The funny thing is, he's a senior staff in the survey department of the state ministry, Akwaibo State Ministry, is a senior. In fact, according to what they say, they say the head of surveyors in Akwaibo State, he is the second or third in command. That means he's a certified surveyor in the state. He knows when a land is legit, a land is right, and when a land is wrong. A qualified surveyor with license. He has been helping so many lands surveyed in Akwaibom. In fact, he's even working for the government and he's one of the staff, best staff that Akwaibom State has. He came and bought this land, did all the investigation, and as a professional surveyor, is it possible for him to be duped? He bought the land, four point something million, just behind here. Raised the fence 2019. Nothing happened. Sometimes last year, whether September, he came behind here. Massive, if you see the kind of story building, they were working night and day. And while they were working, the first two weeks of them, they drilled ball hole, did everything. If you check behind this church here, you see massive, big, mighty rods. The kind of money that has entered there, over 12, 13 million so far. In the course of him building, one of those days, stars, laborers came to work, and the next thing, some government vehicle drove in. The saddest of the whole news is, it's a government personality that even bought the land in 2014. And this guy is a House of Assembly member who has said by, by his blood, he will never take the land. The question now is, where was this House of Assembly member 2019? Where was he when the man took one year to raise this mighty fence? Where was he when he erected the gate? Where was he when he did? Now, if you check the outside there, there is an injunction that is placed on the land. The man is as frustrated as anything. Hey. I'm trying to make you angry so that when you stand up to pray, you pray the prayer like a madman. 
It's not possible, engineer, for a serious architect to be duped. I mean, a surveyor. He's a surveyor. The man came and drove by the other time and came down from the car. He was practically crying like a baby. He said how he himself, at this his level of exposure, could get into that trap. He doesn't know till now. And I laugh as a prophet because I know that these things are not ordinary. It gets to a point where your professionality is not even, you won't even remember that you are an engineer. You won't even remember. The story from the House of Assembly member that drove by also to explain to us here when I heard the story, I just pitied the surveyor because he's not going to get it. The man said this land was surveyed in 2014. He brought out documents. He even came with ministry staffs from a quiet said lands and survey. They came here and it was the same people. One of them has been, it was the one that helped him survey the land in 2014. He came to trace the beacon stones and here is his ogre that came to buy the land. He said he took the land to the same office that is working for verification. And they did not see any beacon stone. They did not see that the land was initially sold. That, but at this time, the man said that what shocks him the most was when they brought out the file from the same office. Whenever you notice stagnation and embargoes, every time you see yourself on strange nightmares, Terrible nightmares, nightmares, people are pursuing you, nightmares of you seeing yourself in this dimension and the next thing, you are now struggling to stand, nightmare that you will see a small road to cross, you will feel so reluctant, I don't know if you have ever had dreams like that, nightmares of you walking on top of a hill and you will walk oh, till you wake up, sometimes the nightmare will look as if you used four years to walk on a particular path, you did not get to your conclusion. Have you had something to learn this morning? Anytime you have off and on blessing, you are going through that attack. Off and on blessing. Today your children are eating three times. Tomorrow we are looking for one square meal. So something is wrong somewhere. Every time you are always experiencing sorrows and setback, you always notice lack of help from God and man. Sometimes it will, you are praying, it will look as if your heavens is closed. You come out on the street, nobody will help you with one cobble. In fact, people that are telling you they don't have, they are giving to others. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Anytime you are always disappointed by a man that is giving appointment to another person, <laughs> you are under an attack. Oh, you are, are you writing that one? Anytime you are always disappointed by a man that has given appointment to another person, the spirit of rising and falling is at work. You don't know that the man that dropped you went for another person. <laughs> yeah. Somebody that ended the relationship here is going to start another one there. When you were with him or her, you were always fighting. The same person is in the other way, very coordinated. When you are always receiving same treatment of humiliation everywhere you enter. Same treatment of humiliation everywhere you enter. The same way the other man treated you is the same way this other man is treating you. The same way Sister Glory did to you is the same way. In fact, it will look as if Sister Glory and Sister Veronica and Esther did rehearsals before they came your way. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying here. The same thing the other man, the other boss did to you is the same thing. The other, the other one was a senator. This one is a local government chairman. The other one, all of them treated you in the same manner. The saddest thing is this man is from Sokoto, the other one is from Nazarawa. But how they manage to give you same fair treatment is what you don't understand. The woman got married for three times. Different men. The last marriage, it was in U.S. 
The first one was in Aquaibom here. The second one was in Lagos. The third one, eventually, God opened one mighty door. Pam! A man from U.S. came and she got married. When she went to U.S. two years after, the stories we heard, the mouth cannot tell. And the U.S. man is a pastor. The saddest is the same way this man from Aquaibum and the Logos guy, the Logos guy did to her. It's exactly the same thing she's getting. She said to me, I'm tired. It was as if marriage is not my calling. Is somebody ready to pray? Anytime you encounter unexplainable hatred and rejection, you can, nobody can explain why they hate you and they reject you. Everywhere you enter, unexplain, they can't explain. You ask him, uh, he said, I don't know. A man did something so bad to a lady, so bad, so bad that when he finished doing that, he sat back and was crying. After a while, a wise man came close to him and asked him, why did you do what he did? He cried again and said, he doesn't know. He confessed to the man that the woman is too good to him. He confessed that nobody would have taken the kind of maze that he went through. This woman did. He was sick and bedridden for five years. The woman carried poo-poo, did everything, suffered for him, did everything. But when he paid her back, man, in the course of our prayers, we discovered that three of our sisters had the same problem. The mother had the same problem. And, and the fathers, the fathers and, and, and sisters had the same similar problems. I'm talking to you as a prophet. So you need to learn. So that when we wake up to pray, we pray as if we have the last energy to pour out to this exercise. You say, ah, this marriage is not good. I didn't enjoy it at all. Good and fine. You are out of it. And the next thing you see yourself in another relationship and you notice that the same symptoms of what you encountered there is repeating itself here. Every time you notice borrowing and you don't have money to pay back, the spirit of rising and falling is at work. Every time you notice you have frustration that will always lead to police case arrest from one way or the other, the spirit of rising and falling is at work. So how do you break even? How do we break this cause? Number one, surrender yourself to God completely. Number two, repent from all your sins completely. Number three, plead for the mercy of God in your life. Number four, remind God some of the bad things that you have done in the past. Number five, try to find out in the place of prayer the mistakes and the offenses of the people that were in your family before you came. Number six, pray for God to reveal to you the source of these problems. Number seven, confront the enemy fighting against your progress. Number eight, call the fire of the most high God on evil devices and demonic strange covenant that's working against your family. Number nine, scatter or uproot everything that was planted against you in the place of prayer. Number 10, dedicate your career and your financial life before God. Number 11, barricade yourself with the blood of Jesus. And number 12, as the last, make sure you finish the prayer in this prayer camp till the last day. Don't miss anything. <laughs> make sure you finish. Pray till the last day. 
decide to follow this prayer till the last day. In whichever platform you are following, follow it till the last day. Sir, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Are you ready to take care of the spirits of rising and falling in your life? Rise up on your feet like a tiger. Look for a prayer corner. Rise up on your feet like a tiger. Look for your prayer corner. Don't be distracted. Listen to me. The next 20 minutes we are doing something very serious. Lift up your hand. We are going to pray. Don't joke. Lift up your hand. Don't joke. Declare after me by fire, by thunder. Declare after me by fire, by thunder. Declare after me by fire, by thunder. By fire, by, by thunder. thunder. Angels assigned for this session. Angels assigned for this section. The second door of this prayer come. The second door of this prayer come. I declare. I declare. Assemble yourself here now. Assemble yourself here now. Angels assigned. Angels assigned. To fight for me. To fight for me. In this session. In this session. Assemble yourself now. Assemble yourself By now. fire, by thunder. By fire, by God. Clap your hands and make that a prayer. On my behalf, arise on my behalf, arise 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 on my behalf, arise 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 on my behalf, In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. Fire. Lift up your ten fingers. Ah. Start by fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. Every yoke, every yoke of rising and falling, of rising and falling. In oppression, in oppression, in my life. In my life. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I summon you, I summon you. right now. Right now, right now, yo, yo, of rising, of rising and falling, and falling in, oppression, in oppression, in my family, in my family. right now, right now, wherever you are, wherever you are, appear here now, appear here now, some fire. fire, fire. I don't like that nonsense. Ah, what is that? What's that? You think I came here to play with you? I don't like that. Rico, do you see that? Don't talk with me. Your destiny is important to me. Your miracle is important to me. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. Lift up your hand like a wildfire. Shout every spirit. Every spirit. Of rising and falling. Of rising and falling. In oppression. In oppression. In my family. In my family. In my life. In my life. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Football before my altar, I report for duty on the second day of this prayer storm. Spirit of rising and falling right now, up here, up here, as I clap my as I pray, I come out, cut fire, cut fire, cut fire, up your hands and walk.
Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, Rakabaya, Rabaya, 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 I want to hear your voice. 
Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Prayer, 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 prayer. You smile in the morning, you cry in the night, you do traditional marriage in the morning, divorce in the night, it's a cause, break that cause now, break that cause now, the gentleman employed you in the morning and in the night, you are no longer working, pray, 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 pray. My God, my God, my God, yes, sir. I like the way some of you are doing it. This is the only opportunity you have in 2022. Rising in the morning, falling in the night, you are a cause. I cause you, I cause you, I cause you, I cause you. Clap your hands, pastor's prayer, chorister's prayer, wherever you are. Clap your hands. I cause you. Pray. I cause you. I cause you. Wherever you are. Up here. Up here. You spirit. You cause her. You cause her. I scatter. I scatter. Rekara. 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 Yes, sir. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. Thirty eight seconds. Thirty eight seconds. Pray. 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 Thirty four seconds. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Fire. Don't talk with me in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Fire. Lift up your hands out every culture. Every culture. Of backwardness. Of backwardness. In my family. In my family. You are a pastor. You are a pastor. <laughs> Abraham, you will pray. Yes, sir. In Ethiopia, you will pray. Yes, sir. All of us, we will pray. Yes, sir. Wherever you are, you will pray. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every cause of what? Backwardness. The same, the same way my father went back. Oh. The same way my brothers went back. No, 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 no. The same way my uncles went back. Cause of backwardness. Yes, sir. Some of us, everything about our family oh. is back, back. Back, back. Nobody has ever gone forward before. Lift up your hand like a fighter. Shout every culture. Every culture of backwardness. Of backwardness. In my family. In my family. You are a pastor. You are a pastor. You are a pastor. You are a pastor. By fire. By fire. By thunder. By thunder. Culture. Culture. Of backwardness. Of backwardness. In oppression. In oppression. In my father's house. In my father's house. Today. Today. I command. I command. your father ended it's not how you will end whatever made your father fail in ministry it's not your portion Bongo Kamado, where are you sisters pray brothers pray pray angrily clap your hands the weapons of my warfare my god 
my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Oh, 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 oh. 
everybody clap your hands.
Fire. Those people that are watching from outside, no, they will never understand this one. This one, we are doing it in the native way. Lift up your hands wherever you are. You are going to shout it very loud. Shout by fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. I prophesy. I prophesy. On my life. On my life. The hands of Zerubbabel. The hands of Zerubbabel. Has laid the foundation. Has laid the foundation. And the hands of Zerubbabel. And the hands of Zerubbabel. Must complete it. And complete it. Declare grace. Grace. To complete. To complete. Every adventure. Every adventure. Every chance. Every transaction of my life. Of my life. Come, on me now. Come on me now. Clap your hands and make that a prayer. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Grace will speak for you. Amen. Grace will speak for you. Amen. Grace will speak for you. Amen. Give me your hand. from you. Holy Ghost. As you thunder a louder Amen. Amen. Jesus. I command you to receive it right now. Amen. Listen to me. This that is not a barrier. Stretch your hand yes, to the man that is talking to you. Thanks, man. Whichever medium you are watching from, whether through Zoom, through YouTube, whatever, stretch your hand. Take my hand. Stretch your 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 hand. Take my hand. I prophesy on your life. I receive. After today. Holy Ghost. That thing you were always finding difficulties in doing. Jesus. I say, let that grace rest upon you. Amen. I say, let that grace rest upon you. Amen. Project your fathers could not complete. Jesus. Jesus. You are not your father. Yes, sir. Transactions your mothers could not complete. Sir, you are not your mother. Yes, sir. Those, prop, those transactions that you found it very difficult to complete last year. Sir, this is not last year. Yes, sir. The grace of 2022 will take you on the eagle's wing. Amen. You will accomplish those projects. Amen. Rise. Amen. I say rise. Amen. You will never fall. Amen. You will never fall. Amen. 
You will never fail. Amen. Rise. Amen. I say rise. Amen. For the last time, I say rise. Amen. Let grace speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us round up the service officially and then we continue. Lift up your hands. You are blessed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clap that hands for Jesus. Lift up your hands above your head. We'll close the service officially and then we do the native thing. Amen. Amen. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Take your declaration. One, two, go. This year, this year I, will, I shall build yes. that tower by, by grace. grace. This I shall I come do me big things by grace. Impossibility is, is never, never found, found in the least of my accomplishment. Therefore, I declare, I declare favor on my head, increase in my hands, speed on my feet. Because I am in charge of life. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you.